One of the most common used service from Google Cloud is BigQuery. BigQuery is a completely serverless and cost-effective enterprise data warehouse that works across clouds and also scales with your data. Recently, BigQuery introduced unenforced primary key and foreign key constraints. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a primary key and foreign key constraint with a new table and also on the existing table and what are its limitations and when you should be using it and why you should be using it. So let me first show you an example as how you can create these constraints. On your screen, you can see that at line number two, we are creating a new table with a primary key and a foreign key constraint. In this table, we have three columns. The column one is a simple column. Column two refers to the foreign key, which is another column in another table item. And then on line number eight, we are creating a primary key on column one and column three. You can create a primary key on either one column or on multiple column. When we create primary key on multiple columns, as is the case in our example, it is called as composite primary key. If you have an existing table where you want to add these constraints, then you will be using the syntax mentioned on line number 13 on your screen. In this, we are simply adding a primary key, key constraint, which is a composite one, and then a foreign key constraint in the same manner by specifying the column name and also referencing it to the table and column name in the other table. One interesting thing you might note here is that we are not enforcing these constraints. What it means is that Data could be non-unique in this one. So you might be wondering if we are not enforcing these constraints, then what's the point of creating these keys? The reason is for the optimizer, because the when the optimizer is traversing through your query, it checks the constraints. And then query optimizer may use this information to better optimize queries and re return the result faster. In databases, whether they are BigQuery Big or any other database, joins are one of the most expensive operations in databases. And a lot of query optimization techniques attempt to optimize them. So that is why when primary key and foreign key constraints are used, optimizer becomes more intelligent and more informed to create an optimal query execution path. So that is the reason we create primary key and foreign keys. So if you have some poorly performing queries on big or small tables, I would highly suggest to change your database design a bit and then add these primary key and foreign keys. I hope that this was useful. If you have already used it, then please share the feedback. And if you like the channel, please subscribing. Um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.